Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. I'm going to give you a tutorial on audio effects you might have never even knew existed in Unity. And by the end of this tutorial, you're probably going to hate me because this piece of music is really catchy, but it's the best way to illustrate what these sound effects do. I'll run through all these effects and how they basically work, and then we'll look at using them in a real scene and how you can really bring out and make your scene feel even more alive. Do be sure to check out all the links down below for all the sales, the Unity's new mega bundle, and check out my Patreon too to get over 225 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. We will be looking at a high pass and a low pass filter, we'll be looking at an echo and distortion, a chorus filter, reverb filters, and reverb zones themselves, and I do have an entire tutorial talking about audio and how to get yourself started if you don't know, and I'll leave the link down below. And the radio is going to act as the source which we imagine the audio to come from. And most of these will have an audio source on them, which will control a 3D sound. So throughout this tutorial, I will go quiet just so that you can listen to how it will sound in different areas. So when you're on your 3D sound, you can add a component and choose a high pass filter. And this is the first one. And this actually cuts off frequencies when they get too high or too low. So this can actually make it sound more like coming from a radio if we cut down. So this is 5,000, so it cuts it down a lot. Now, if we change this to 1,000 and we listen to our audio again, I'll turn it on and off so you can get an idea of what this sounds like. So you could hear that when it was on and off and it really reduces the frequency of the audio and you can actually increase this value to make it even less. So if I increase this all the way up to say 8000 and I make sure I play this audio again, you can hear that it's really reduced the frequency of the audio. And then the other version is a low pass filter so you can add a new one which is called an audio low pass filter. This can make it sound like we're actually listening for something in another room. If you're imagining a party happen in a wall behind you and the sound is incredibly muffled, this is set to the cutoff at 5000. Now we can take a listen. So the smaller you get the value here, the more muffled that sound will be. Now we've got something called an echo filter, which you can add a component. Just type in audio echo filter, and this will have a delay on everything we say. So I'll swap up the audio, and I'll just put this police radio on here, which will just be different. And you can select the delay, the delay decay, the dry mix, and the wet mix on this. So I think you get the picture. So you can adjust if the audio has some echo, if you've got a really echoey environment. Then we have something called a distortion filter. So we can set the distortion at halfway, about 0.5. And then we've got another filter called the chorus filter, which you can also add by adding audio chorus filter. And this one using the wet mixes of the different varieties and can set a delay to make it sound like something will be sung in a chorus. So if you were listening through headphones, it often sounds like you are your left ear and your right ear is having the audio between each other. It sort of sways between the two. So I'll just set the mix one to 0.5, the mix two to three, and maybe if you're wearing headphones, you could hear what this sounds like because it's hard to hear it. Because if you could hear that, it sounds like it's moving between both of my ears when that chorus filter is enabled. I've got another one called a reverb filter. And this allows us to specifically affect the way that the sound interacts with the world. So if this can be set on a specific audio effect with the audio reverb filter, and you can set a preset based on what type of environment this should be. Let's say we had an arena 
and this sound wanted to sound like it was in the arena now. Now, as you could hear, I was swapping between some different effects that you could use, and it's got a whole bunch, whether you need dizzy, underwater, and a specific area. And of course, you can set your own user-specific profile if you need to affect any of these levels. So you can set how much reflection it should have in the room, reverb, diffusion, how much density, and what sort of effect you're looking for. And these presets are really good. Now, you might have seen reverb zones before. So reverb zone work like an area where any audio effect within this area will have that same effect applied. So let's say we were in a hallway. Every single one of these sounds will be affected. There's no other effects going on at the moment. Apart from, I will play that music and I'll play that at half volume and you'll be able to hear my footsteps too, which will be affected by the reverb zone. So in this, you can actually set the min and max distance and use the settings exactly like you could on the reverb filter to actually create that idea of a particular area. I've got a little scene set up here, so I'm going to show you how you can use some of these effects together to make these work. Now, currently, I've got a reverb zone, which is pretty much the entirety of this area. And I've just got it on generic. You can change this to a different thing, say you wanted let's say a hallway for this area. I've got an audio effect, which is behind this wall, which is also a 3D effect, but it's got the low pass filter. So it makes it sound like there's a, this could be a party or a set of music going on behind this wall, which is muffled by the sound. In this room, I've got a radio, which is going to act as my police radio. And it's got the high pass filter on at about 2000 to make it sound like a more concentrated sound at this object. Then I've got a dripping sound of a tap and this is going to be taken into account by the reverb zone. And it's just to layer up the sounds that we have in our scene. And of course, because we've got a reverb zone, the footsteps will be affected by it. The radio will be affected by it, the dripping and anything else within its boundary. Now, this muffled sound effect, which is the sound of the party, I didn't really want to be taken into account by the reverb zone. So you can make sure that you can set the reverb zone mix down to zero so it doesn't have any contribution. Sometimes these effects are only subtle, but everything about making games and games design is every little subtle aspect that you can add adds up to make a greater picture of the design or the world that you're creating. So I hope you found these little tips useful and you can add these to your audio to make it sound that little bit more epic. Let me know what you think in the comments and if you have any tips on audio to make it sound any better. And I do have a full tutorial explaining how to get started with audio, audio mixes, and all those great things, and I'll put the links down below, along with Unity's massive mega bundle and all the sales you can make for this month. And be sure to check out my Patreon too to get over 225 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Big thank you to all my patrons, special thank you to Peter Steiner and everybody else who comes to watch the video. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.